Hello guys, welcome back with me, Chow Chow 2025. Let's play chapter 6, the old couple first. We take this as a guide, we climb the hill leading to the tower. As it would appear to be the front gate of school and there's a sign on wall reading, Yasugami High School. The buildings ahead of us looks like an ordinary school at first glance, but when I look up, there are numbers of things wrong with it. Ah, is this really Sensei's school? It looks even weirder than it did before! Yikes, this is really bad. I haven't seen anything like this since three years ago. Even from up close, it's strikingly similar to Tartars. Even from a nest of that where shadows roam free, and a tower of darkness built to summon that itself. But that's not all. Strange marking lines that grew ground in walls, all the way from the gates of the school building itself. Poster have been put up on the walls and even in the windows, oddly matching the eeriness of the building. There's a bunch of posters up. It kind of reminds me of a school festival. The sister complex kingpin of steel? That's Sensei! Sensei is so strong, kind, and a reliable leader! And over here is Chie chan She trains a ton every day, and she eats a ton too. And he points out the different posture, one after another, and happily tells me about his friend. Seeing him like this, I gotta sense how much he values his friendship with this people. Huh. They must be a great bunch of people. Huh? There's a poster of Mitsuru Senpai too? The, the imperious queen of executions. What's wrong, Yuka-chan? What about Mitchan? Oh, it's nothing. I just remembered something that happened during our school trip. Yeah. Oh, an execution, huh? Well, I know what that's like. Huh? Have you done that to someone before? Nah, it was done to me. Can I see Hammer to repay me for my innocent curiosity? Just remembering it gives me the chilly willies. <laughs> oh, I can imagine that. Talking to you reminds me of someone I know. There's an idiot in our group, too. Oh, lucky me. I found Yucatan. Junpei? I'm surprised to see the next face. Wait a sec. I have to consider what happened with that copy of Mitsuru Senpai from earlier. Is wearing a basketball uniform for some reason? Could this be another fake? Put some distance between us and knock an arrow. Hold it right there! I told Junpei to wait for me at the station. What are you doing here? Okay, uh, hey, wait a second! That's no way to greet your old friend! You're supposed to get emotional! Oh, wait. Are you another monster, Yukari? Hmm? A monster? Me? Wait, so are you the real Junpei? of sweat! Seriously, can't you have some consideration for the people who have to smell you? He's real! Uh. Huh? Whoa, aren't you the guy who was on TV earlier? Why are you with Yucatan? Why? Because I'm Yucatan's knight in fuzzy armor, obviously! In other words, we share a pledge of eternal love! <laughs> eternal love? Yucatan, do you know this weirdo with a beardo? Whoever he is, I don't think he's a fake. Yeah, I know him. You seem energetic as always, Junpei. Oh, is that what's going on here? Wait, don't be ridiculous. I'm obviously the real me. Ugh, kind of. Can kind of tell too, considering how much he's trying to get on my good side. This is probably the real Junpei. I'm glad you're safe, and sorry, I told you to wait at the station. But then I heard that Mitsudu-senpai and the others are in danger. Nah, it's cool, I was kind of wandering around too. But wait, they've been captured? Seriously? Yeah, about that. I'm so sleepy. I'm a little relieved to be able to meet up with a familiar face. We treat some nostalgic banter while we'll share what we've learned about what's happening in Inaba. 
I had my doubts when I heard of how Jinpei miraculously ended up in Inaba even before the rest of us, but I guess it's just like him. He barely has a grasp of the situation, and he keeps going on about how cute some girl he met at Junus is. Ugh, I don't want to hear about that stuff. At least I learned that the person and user of these towns are acting on their own during this unusual phenomenon. What? Junpei, you ran into Risei-chan and Yuki-chan? Were they alright? Yep, totally fine. Man, school chicks these days are really tough. By the way, uh, who are you anyway? Aren't you that, what was it, General Teddy? How dare you! It's outrageous that you treat me the same as that faker! I'm the one, the... Well, yeah, I don't intend to put so many questions on the poor guy, but that existence is something of a mystery. What I do know is that it's enough a persona user and he's not an enemy. The general Teddy from the broadcast appears to be a copy of Teddy here. Teddy's a persona user from this town, and he's looking for his friends. Huh? You can use a persona? I figured you were nothing but a walking costume. How rude! I'm not just an empty suit! I have a persona! And I have something inside, too! Look! Inside? Daddy suddenly undoes his zipper, huh? That's immovable? Hello, everyone! Whoa, white guy! What the? What's going on here? The sudden appearance of this young kid inside the suit is startling. Actually, even before that... There really is something inside! I worked hard to grow this body because I wanted to score with a girl! Nice to meet you, Junpei! Oh, uh, your Japanese is a little off, though. You make a costume, not grow it. Do you understand? Make, not grow. Stop talking like an idiot, Junpei. But wow, I figured you were empty too. Hmm? I'm sorry, did I surprise you, Yuka-chan? I have fallen asleep before. Uh, this is starting to break my brain. I'm sorry to ask you this once you took it off, but can you just keep your costume on for now? Aw, oh, but I just came out. Ooh, but this must mean that you like my bear skin better! Ta-da! Look, look! It's original flavor Teddy again! So don't hold back! Ladies and other ladies, start <laughs> your snugglings! Uh, come on, guys, enough playing around! Let's go! We have to hurry and find the others! Huh? Oh, right! When we're about to go inside, Teddy suddenly stops and stands up straight. Did his key news really works when he's wearing the costume? Oh wait, if anything, that costume is just real nose, isn't it? I'm already picking up on someone. The rest are shadows. Look, ah, Yeah, I'm not even going to question his sneezing anymore either. Is this someone is venture related to Mitsuru Senpai or Akiko Senpai? Or the other? Teddy's run off, still sneezing. Take the side path to make a DJ around school building and see a gymnasium up ahead. The entrance door is covered by a posture of a boy's level Beefcake Emperor. The name is Kanji Tatsumi, isn't it? Oh, this is Kanji. He loves manly battles and is really good at grabbing people and stabbing things. Uh, this poster is giving me bad vibes. I don't want to charge in without a plan and run into this guy. Let's look for another way in, maybe. Don't be stupid. Someone's here, right? Come on, we're going in. Is 
the gym. I make Junpei open the door despite his protesting. The central area inside the gym is open to chairs are stacked high up all around, reaching almost to the ceiling. A blonde, well-built young man is standing in the open space, clearly waiting for us. There's no mistaking him. This is Kanji Tatsumi, whose piece is on the posture we just saw. Finally, you showed up! Hello, boys! I've been waiting forever and ever for you, especially you, Slugger. Um, just to be clear, you don't know this guy, right? No! He's got no business calling me out like a designated hitter. Hey, hey, Teddy! That's your friend, right? Why don't you sniff him and see if he's one of those fakes? I don't have to! That's definitely a fake! If Kanji really liked you, he'd be stuttering and baking you treats instead of talking like that! Oh, I've got a treat for you. It's in my fists! And I can't wait to show it to you. Bring on the ring! And you can hold us loudly at the four wheel of the sand surrounding us. Well, I knew this was coming. This is obviously a pig. In order to find that someone did it all talking about, we'll have to fight our way past this. Alright, you guys go in there and fight him. I'll uh, cheer you on from over here. Don't be a wuss. You're fighting too. Let's deal with this quickly. You're not going to beat me down that easily. Here we go, Here we go. Uh, Yukari? Oh, could you steady? That's your steady. It is consider for so much for heroes. Final. The song. <laughs> Good match. I have to sleep. 